Yeah. Now, um, in terms of your role um, uh, with managing the media around the president, um, you know, th- this was just one of a number of examples of times when people, uh, you know, questioned some of the things you did. Uh, we just got, had a, a text message, somebody asking about him. Um, I think it was, uh, what was it? Yaya Kwamwa, right? That was his name. The guy from, um, from GBC, who's, um, whose recorder you smashed. What was okay, that so about? it's good you said recorder. Somebody said camera. Oh, okay. You know, no. Somebody said media man. You mm. know, so mm. how many media men has standard be assaulted? Well, this is the only uh, issue that uh, came but, up. But you hear the narrative. I mean, even the Minister for Information, Kojo Ponkuma. But assaulting you know, one media uh, man is, is no, one I'm too not, many, not, isn't not, it? Yeah, I do not assault. That's the okay. point. So I address right. it. But I'm just saying that sometimes the, the, the narratives become a little troubling. You right. know, when people pick it up and they give all kinds of reasons and all that. So, um, as I've done before, and, I, and, and I'll do again, you know, I, I apologize to my colleague from GBC for, for that incident that evening at 37. It was a very troubling day after all that had happened. Yeah. And then the stress I had to go through with some of my colleagues to prevent my own colleagues, journalists, from filming their colleagues who were in, who were injured and mm. looking dirty and all that. It was stressful, you know. I had to send to my house to bring my wife's clothing for the female journalists who were there, brought my own shirt and others for them so that they can all change and, you know, clean up, freshen up a little, you know, before people can see them. And all that, my own college journalists thought that they, all they needed to do was to film them with the blood on them and all that. And, mm. you know, I, I thought it was quite disappointing. And I think there was one elderly journalist who I told that I thought that you were somebody who should be helping me rather get the others to know that, listen, the people are injured. Let them be treated. After that, you can come and film and talk to them, but not with the blood, etc. Mm. We had gone through all that. We had lost painfully one of our colleagues and... Um, the, the family had been invited over. They didn't know at the time that that was, that was a case. And we needed to inform them about mm. it. So when they came, we were standing somewhere, and there were a few other journalists, you know, Maxwell, um, Okamafo, and others who were also, you know, with me. And we were all standing there. So when they tried to so Charlie, we we're going to talk to these guys and come. So they all moved away. And then we went. So when we started the conversation with Dr. Mani Buama, Angola, and a few others, we were talking to them. And then I noticed somebody, two people. And I thought, so I asked Sami's brother, are, are they with you? He said, no. So Angola asked them that, oh, we're having a, a private conversation, so can they excuse us? Mm-hmm. And then they walked you know, back a little. And then we were still you know, talking, the money was trying to, you know, we're having some fun. Naturally, in that state, the issues are not something you just go and break the story. Mm. We're trying to, you know, manage. Then, I'm going to signal me again that, ah, somebody else has come again. So I turned. And then when I saw, I looked at him, and I noticed that he was holding something that was beeping. And the color, the red color was showing. Mm, a flashing red light. I said, Angola, the person is recording. To be honest, at the time, I didn't even know. I mean, you can't even tell that this is a journalist or not because all the other journalists who were standing with us were now in front of the, you know, the emergency ward and were just waiting for us to finish. Mm. So Angola went to him and said, ah, why are you recording us? Then he said, oh, he wasn't recording. Angola said, ah, why are you recording? You know, so I turned and went to him and I said, ah, but why are you recording? So I took the recorder and said, but that's the recorder you have. Then he says, oh, to be honest, I just took the recorder and I said, Charlie, why do you guys do this? We are in a serious moment. And I just dropped the recorder on the floor. I never smashed it. I didn't catch the gentleman. I didn't hold him. I didn't even know who he was. It was not until we had finished with Sami and Co, before Sami's family and Co, before Maxwell and Co came and said, oh, the guy was from GBC Radio. And they were even asking him that, ah, but we're all standing here, so if you have come, why didn't you come and just join us? Why do you go there and you are secretary recording and, and, and all that? Our job is to look for information no matter what. You know, but if you are recording me, 
without my knowledge and I also find out mm -hmm. I have to stop you from doing that. So I dropped the recorder. I never smashed it. I never you know, <laughs> hit it with a stone. I never touched the gentleman. But of course, once the story came out, the other part of the story coming out and how it was portrayed and the role of the Media Foundation for West Africa and the people who were paid by some people to raise petitions against Tandugbe, make noise about it and do all that. It happened. People but for were me, paid. what was important was that this is somebody that you have found out was a colleague journalist. Whether he, what he did was right or wrong. And to be fair to him, he didn't make any upheavals about it. You know, it was people who rather made upheavals. So I apologized, you know, to him. I apologized to the GJA president as well. I bought a new recorder, you know, to replace mm. what, what he had at the time. Mm. But it didn't stop that, you know, um, um, narrative from going on all over. This is the first time I'm actually speaking to yeah. it. But it yeah. wasn't a camera. It wasn't medium. <laughs> mm. It was a recorder that I, I came because I didn't know that the person was a journalist, but even if, even if he wasn't a journalist, you know, I, I mean, why were you recording at the time? So that was a reaction, and yeah. it wasn't because of anything, you know, media. But I'm saying yeah. that beyond that, there is no other example that anybody yeah. else, yeah. you know, would say.